Hey, hey Fairy Grove, Grove let's, let's go check, check out this week's, week's broadcast. Now let's get started with your 60 forecast. What's up Fairy Grove, basketball's back and I'll also be giving you an update in football. This week we'll be interviewing Mystery Guys. What's up, Fergo? This week we have a new piece of technology to discuss, so stay tuned. Hey Falcons, this week I'll be teaching you guys how to make a dessert banana smoothie. Potion. Hey Falcons, this week's book is a Halloween themed book. What are you going to do for Halloween night? Well, it's good to be back. Yeah, I know. Last week's broadcast was crazy. Must have been a bad dream. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm your host, Alex Bravo. And I'm your host, Alyssa Godoy. And let's go check out Fun with Food for a scare-tastic treat. Pass without you watching my thoughts. That's 1440 a day. So I'll say 144 times I think about you. Hey Fairgo Falcons, I'm your host Millie Apples for Fun and Food and this week I'll be teaching you guys how to make a dessert banana smoothie potion. But before we get started we have to wash our hands real well. Wash your hands for 30 seconds or you can either count your ABCs. The ingredients you will need are one banana, milk, brown sugar, a blender, maple syrup, cinnamon, and whipped cream. First, peel the banana, break it into chunks, and place it in the blender. Pour the milk over the banana chunks. Blend the two ingredients together until they are smooth. You then add in the maple syrup, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Then you blend all the ingredients in a high-powered blender. Then you pour your banana smoothie potion into a cup. Then add the whipped cream on top. Then sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of the whipped cream. Now we're going to have Silas and Aaron to try it. Good. Well, that's it for this week, Fair Girl. Now I'll head back to the studio with Alyssa and Silas. Happy Halloween. Thanks, Millie. Next up is All About Tech. With your host, Jalen Wellmaker. What's up, Falcons? This week's topic is the new iMac. This new piece of technology will start at a price of $2,499. Apple's newest iMac has an amazing 27-inch display, is only 1.4 millimeters thick, and has a jaw-dropping 14.7 million pixels for the screen. Now here's a video of this new piece of technology. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We might have come for the iPads, but we're staying for the brand new iMacs. Uh, what you're looking at is the gorgeous brand new Retina 5K display. And if the 5 should give it away, this is a 5K display. And pictures look absolutely gorgeous on this screen. Uh, it's going to be available today starting at configurations from $24.99. Uh, it's not just all good looks, there's also a lot of horsepower uh, on the back. You now have Thunderbolt 2.0, um, improved graphics performance, and certainly Fusion Drive is now going to be standard on the IMAX. And I gotta say, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how it's gonna translate for whatever screen you're watching this on. I'm looking at a 5K image, like the ones you're seeing right now that are meant for 5K, uh, are absolutely stunning. 
From a thinness standpoint, it stayed just as thin as it was. Exterior-wise, with the screen off, it's gonna look very similar. Apple's done a lot, though, to make sure they can keep all these pixels powered, make sure each pixel stays independent, and each pixel stays powered. There's a lot of power-saving things going on here uh, under the hood. I just gotta say, it looks gorgeous. End of the day, it's an all-in-one computer. You want it just to look good. Uh, and Apple really succeeded here with the new iMac. Well, that's all for this week. Now let's head back to Sue with Silas and Alyssa. And remember, stay safe and have a happy Halloween. Bye. Have a happy Halloween. <laughs> Thanks, Jalen. Hey, Silas, do you play any sports? Yeah, actually, I play a wide variety. Oh, well, why don't we go check out sports news? What's your host? Me. Yeah. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? What's up, Fair Grove? I'm Cyrus Bravo, and this is Sports News. Let's get started in basketball. Steve Nash has been ruled out of the season due to him re-injuring his back. The Lakers and Clippers face off tonight at 7.30 p.m. Send over to the NFL. The Chargers had no chance against the surging Broncos as they lost 21 to 35. The Raiders lost last Sunday to the Browns with a score of 23 to 13. The Rams got worked last Sunday, losing to the Chiefs with a score of 34 to 7. Be sure to watch the Raiders go head to head with the Seahawks Sunday at 1:25 p.m. The Cowboys also play Sunday against the Cardinals at 10 o'clock a.m. Be sure to watch the Rams clash against the Niners Sunday at 1:05 p.m. The Chargers also play Sunday against the Dolphins at 10 o'clock a.m. Now for some college football. USC sadly lost to Utah last Saturday with a score of 24 to 21. UCLA barely beat Bum Colorado in double overtime with a score of 40 to 37. Be sure to watch USC face off against Washington State Saturday at 1.30 p.m. UCLA also plays Saturday facing off against Arizona at 7.30 p.m. That's it for this week, Falcons. I'm Silas Bravo, and I'll have more sports news for you next week. Thanks, Silas. Hey, Alyssa, do you know if it's going to be hot this weekend? I hope not, but why don't we go check out Weekend Weather and find out with your host, Anae Rubio. Girl. I'm Anna E, your host for Rican Weather, so let's get started with the show. But before I give you your 6-day forecast, let's go check out your Doppler with your host. Me. Hey Falcons, I'm Lucy, your host for Doppler Radar, so let's get started. As you can see here, there are no clouds within our region, so we might not have a chance of rain. That's it for this week, very good. Let's head back to the studio with Anna E. Thanks Lucy, now let's get started with your 6-day forecast. Today will be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 57. Saturday will be cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 50. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 50. Monday will be cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 59. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 53. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 59. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 55. Well, that's it for this week, Fair Girl. Let's head back to the studio with Silas and Alyssa. Thanks, Anai. Next up is Book Club. With your host, Gabriel Estrada. Hey, Fair Girl. I'm your host, Gabriel Estrada, for Book Club. This book is a third fifth grade level. This week's book is Goosebumps. The author of this book is R.L. Stein. I chose this book because it's a scary book for Halloween. It all began when we moved to Florida. I could see that my dad telling us the chance of a lifetime and an adventure we'd never forget. We, could, we couldn't have known back then he was right. Enough with this week's book, now let's get into a few tips. This week's tip is not being afraid to read to yourself or read aloud. When reading to yourself or aloud, you will improve your voice and your reading ability. So for this week, Fairy Wolf, now let's go back to the studio with Alyssa and Silent. Thanks, Gabe. Now let's go check out What's Up with Fairgrove. What's your host, Lala Zermeno.
my god. Karen, Karen, are you okay? She was bit. What's gonna happen now? Hey, Fairgirl Falcons, I'm Lana Zermeno, your host for What's Up with Fairgirl, and today, no! Ah, 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 ah. They bit Karen and now she's a zombie. It's a zombie apocalypse. There will be an 8th grade orientation, November 5th, so make sure all you 8th graders come. It's going to be at Workman. 2nd grade will also be having a performance, November 5th, from 6 o'clock to 6.30. Monday, November 10th will be Veterans Day. <laughs> Friday, November 7th is the end of the grading period, so make sure you get the high possible grade you can. Well that's all for this week. Tune in next week to see if I survive and find the cure. Sorry. It'll be Bach. take the packet home today. Teachers, just to let you know, it should be in your box before lunchtime today. So if you could please hand them out, we would really appreciate it. I know th th these kids go other classes, right? So maybe uh, tomorrow morning homeroom would be great if you can send them home. So you guys may not be getting them until tomorrow. But please, as soon as you do get them, take them home, pull them out of your backpack and share it with your mom or your dad. Let them know that you guys are having a fundraiser and we're going to need everybody's participation. In your packet is going to be a letter letting them know that the sale is starting. Well, we have today, but you might get your packets tomorrow. And it's going to end on November 13th. Now, one thing with our sale, it is going to be very, very important that everybody turn in their orders by the 13th. Because it's going to be a quick, quick turnaround because we turn in all the orders and then it takes a few weeks for them to student pack everything and then for us to get the product to you. So please make sure that you turn in your orders by November 13th. It also lets our parents know that yes, we would like everybody to participate, but we also want you to be safe. So please sell to your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, everyone you know, but do not go door to door selling by yourself. Do not sell to strangers. I mean, that doesn't work out on this type of sale anyway. So if you are gonna ask your neighbors, take somebody with you, like your older brother, sister, or your mom, that's okay. Now this is what we're gonna be selling. It's the Otis fundraisers. We have cakes, we have cookie dough, we have some pies, we have cookie, we have pizza, we have cinnamon rolls, a little bit of everything. So this is what we're going to ask our family and our friends and everybody that we know if they could please help support our school by purchasing one or two items. Can you guys do that? Yeah! yeah. yeah. The only way you're not going to sell is by not asking. If you do not ask somebody to buy something, you're not going to sell anything. Keep in mind that 40% of everything stays here. 50% is $8, so we're looking at six, about $6.40 from each purchase stays here. Or bowling bean. Just for participating. Oh, one thing, another thing. If, one, one thing I forgot. If you fill up your order form, do you have to stop selling? No. We're going to have extra order forms in the office, so there's going to be plenty. Pick up some more, and you can keep on selling. Okay, just for selling one, give me a wrist. Okay, just for selling one item, you're going to get a participation prize, which is a bowling bracelet. Bracelet, put your, okay? That was a little slow. Okay, so on the letter it says if you sell five items, you're going to come to a DJ party. Do you guys like to dance? Okay, do you guys like to listen to music? It does say if you sell five items, you're going to come to a DJ party. Being 7th and 8th grade, I think you guys should have your own party away from the 6th and 5th graders and 4th graders. But, but, here's the thing. We're going to need plenty of people to do that. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to suggest to you guys, 
is instead of making it five items, you guys sell two items. You come to the DJ party. Okay? In order to make a DJ party fun, I think you need about 75 people. So that's why I'm going to change it to two items instead of five so that we can have a lot more middle schoolers for your own party. Because if I'm only going to have 10 middle schoolers, then we're going to just have one big party with everybody. But if I can get enough of you guys at selling two items, does that work? Is that a good deal? Yeah. Can you guys do that? Yeah. Okay. So this way you guys can have your own party and all it's... Here we go. If you sell the 10 items, 10. Like I said, we're doing a whole little bowling theme. You're going to get a wooded bowling pin pen. <laughs> so it's a little pen, something that you can hold on to. Okay. 15 items, we're going to invite you to our video game truck party. And it's not going to take 20, and it's not going to take 25, but only 15 items. Check out College Focus with your host, Alexis Holguin. Hey, Fairy Go Falcons, I'm Alexis Holguin, your host for College Focus. Now, let's get on with this week's show. This week, we'll be asking Mr. Nunez a few questions. Good morning, Mr. Nunez. Good morning. What college did you go to? Oh, I've attended three colleges. My first degree was in graphic design. I got that from Cal State Fullerton. Teaching credential I received from Cal State LA and I have uh, additional certificates from USC. <laughs> what did you major in? Uh, my first degree is in graphic design. That was from Cal State Fullerton. Um, went back to college and received my teaching credential from Cal State LA. What was the best thing about going to college? That's one of the favorite things about being at a university is the independence you have to make your decisions and take classes that you really enjoy taking. Uh, I really love the studio classes, I love the interaction with other students. It was just a really good place to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Thanks, Mr. Nice. Guys. Well, that's all for this week, Fargo Falcons. I'm Alexis Hogan, your host for College Focus. I'm back to the studio with the Listen Silence. Bye! Thanks, Alexis. Now let's go check out Weekly Poll with your host, Anthony Lacea. No matter what you say, what you do, when I'm alone, I'd rather be with you. Okay, hold up, wait a minute, all good, just a week ago Crew at my house, and we party every weekend So, on the radio, that's my favorite song Make me bounce What's up, fat girl? I'm Matthew Lucero, your host for With People And now, let's head over to this week's question And this week's question is What are you going to do for Halloween night? Trick or treating! For Halloween, I'm going to go trick or treating Going to the party I'm going to a party. I'll be tricking and I'll be treating. Go trick or treating. What are you going to do for Halloween night? Trick or treat. I'm going to go to a Halloween party for Halloween. Trick or treating. I'm going to a trick or treat for Halloween. Trick or treating. Haunted house. I'm going to a party. Trick or treat. Scare people. And here are the results. Trick or treat, 60%. Party, 20%. Scaring people, 10%. Haunted house, 10%. Trigger tree, one with a total of 60%. Well, that's all for this week, Fargo. Oh, 
and get ready for next week's question. And now, let's head back to the studio with Silas Bravo and Alyssa Godoy. Thanks, Thanks Anthony. Anthony. Well, that's it for this week, Fairgrove. Happy Halloween. Uh, uh. Okay.